Hi people, it's Mo and Joe again here at Mojo Treasures. And as you can see, I'm on a roll with my seven gypsy trays. These things are so much fun. If you haven't tried one yet, you gotta do it. It's just great. Well, once again, it's the beautiful little tray that comes with a little handle on top so you can hang your artwork up on the wall. And you've got your um, six little pockets, all to, uh, four by six on your um, dimensions on the inside. So you can either make a little card and stick it in there or you can layer it up and do whatever you want. I had so much fun with different techniques on this thing and it probably just looks like, okay, she's gone to the birds for sure, but this is, this is all about the birds on this one. But for example, this was one of my little die cuts that I had that came with um, three different uh, size um, cutouts that you could put for a book. And I looked at that little arrow, because it's actually an arrow, and I said, you know, that would make just the cutest little birdhouse. So I slapped a little rough on it and called it that, stamped over it with some stamps by Judith, one of my favorite little backgrounds, two of them. One is the little polka dots, which you know I'm crazy about, and then also the little snowflakes that also look like little flowers. And this was just a leftover little piece that was actually on my Easter basket. And then I went ahead and made my own little flowers. And then I went completely crazy and made a whole bunch of little flowers. And then blinged it out with, um, does anybody still do quilling? I still love quilling because you can get those lovely little pieces to look like vines. Um, or do them tight and do them as designs. But, And then the, this one was, this was a complete accident. And I couldn't put this on anything else except for a tray because I knew nobody would touch it. <laughs> because it would fall apart in the mail if you sent it as a card. This was actually a napkin. And I was burning up some different candles. And I said... You know, let me just dump the, you know how you get too much wax? So I just dumped it off on a, and cleaned it up with the thing. I said, oh, look at that. I started molding and I said, well, that's really a cool looking little flower. It looks like a sweet pea. So then, of course, I put my beloved little ribbon with the leaves on it so it just looked like it was a trailer to go with that. And then again, I used my, um, I have all so many, I think I have almost every single one of the tapes. I love to rip the different tapes, be it the uh, Seven Gypsies polka dot, which you see in everything of mine, um, or the, the little cocoa ones that are the French one. I have a French script one, and I also have the um, uh, music one, and is that the only ones I used on this one? Oh, and then the numbers, of course. And all of these I got at my my pals down at Blue Moon Scrapbooking. God, those guys have so many things. I mean, how could you not go shopping there? They have everything under the freaking sun. So then, for example, these little tail feathers. This was one another one of my brilliant ideas. Maybe I'm being sarcastic, but um, I had purchased uh, the Seven Gypsies. It's a great big one. You buy it by the yard, and it's a whole thing of long black feathers. And I'm thinking, okay, that's clearly not what I thought I was buying. I said... But hey, no problem. I could cut them off individually and I could just use them, a single one, and I could use it or a bunch of them and just trimmed them down. And I said, okay, fabulous. We now have tail feathers for my little, my little chickadee. And then you could also put them in the hair if you had your, like your little Gibson girl going or stick it in a hat. It would just look ever so fabulous. So I did that. And then it's all about the birds and I just totally love. I either go one way to really vibrant colors but not vibrant like you're thinking of I mean like clear bright colors like your burgundies your merlots and all of that eggplant colors and such or I like to go to the soft muteds this little stamp right here is one of my sets and one of my favorite companies which was Oxford Impressions and um, this was another one and I just cut out from my die cut from the Tim Holtz one and said okay well I'm just gonna stick it in that nest and there you go so this is pretty much another one and as again you can hang it up on the wall because you got your little um little handle up there and hope you guys gonna give it a try because it's real fun oh another thing i did was i wadded up paper because i had before i figured out that you could actually buy stuff that already has music on it i took some of joe's sheet music and decided to just print it out because i was making a card for him one time but i love to do crinkle stuff so i took the took the music and i'm always tearing stuff so I took that and I curled it, crinkled it up, ripped it up, and then I sprayed it w first with uh, the glimmer mist, and then I went over it with the perfect pearls, which I also got at Blue Moon. And oh, it's also the doilies. You love these doilies. They came on a sheet almost like 12 by 12, and I believe that was basic gray, and I just cut it up because I just love that old-fashioned, you know, look. I mean, truly vintage, not just from the 30s. I mean, old-timey vintage. But anyways, you guys, it was fun to make, and hopefully you'll give it a try, and we'll hope to talk to you soon. Bye.